Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravindra Jangir here, your electrical faculty and in this video I'm going to talk about the numerical number 1 that is the converted to DC line which is based on the concept of converted to DC line. So I will start with the reading of this question. So let's start with the reading of this question. This question is actually saying that the constants of the three phase line are a that is 0 0.9 that is the 0 0.9 to 2 degree and in angle 2 degree this is given in the polar form and the beta is b that is not a beta b is given 140 it is actually corrected and angle 70 degree per phase line delivers the 60 mva at the 132 kilovolt and having the power factor 0 0.8 power factor we have given the power factor 0 0.8 the voltage value 132 kilovolt and the 60 MV, mva the apparent power is given here so find the sending and the voltage what we have to find the sending and voltage that is the vs and also the maximum receiving and voltage and also we have to find vr maximum then vs and vr held constant if above line is converted to dc line if above line is converted to DC line, then find the receiving and voltage power of the line. Uh, actually, that is so uh, power. So receiving and power of the line that we have to find here. So this is the question, and now we will start with solution. So we have given the some data which are listed here, and uh, according to that, we will write the sum uh, of the points which are given, and then we will solve according to that. So look at this, uh, it is a typical power system question type. So we will uh, discuss one by one. So if I talk about, whenever I talk about the VS is uh, VS, that is the sending and voltage, that is going to be AVR plus BIR, that we have to understand, that is a long transmission line, for the long transmission line we are studying. And A and B are actually constant, that is uh, kind of, uh, if you have studied about the two port parameter. So A and B we have used in the, uh, a, B, C, D parameters or you can say the transmission parameters. So likewise they are given and the power per phase which is given is 60 by 3. Why I have uh, divided by 60 by 3? Because here we have used a three phase line then I will divide because uh, per phase we will use and that is the 20 MVA we will get. So if I talk about the receiving and voltage per phase. So what is going to be the receiving and voltage? Receiving and voltage per phase is going to be, I will write the VR and then that is the 132 root divided by root 3. Then you will confuse with why we have divided by root 3. Because the root 3 is divided because the 132 kV is given. So we will, if nothing is given, then we will assume that it is a line to line voltage. It is line voltage. and. Uh, we have to convert it for the per phase then we will divide root 3 because as we know v line is equal to root 3 times of the v phase so likewise we have to remember these basic fundamentals we have studied in the power systems so when you will calculate and uh, you will find the 132 divided by root 3 then you will get the uh, 76.2 kilovolt okay then receiving and current then i will found the receiving and current so it will also be found as a per phase value and when you will find the per phase value then it is going to be it will be represented as ir and when i will divide then you are going to get this 20 into 10 raised to power 6 why 20 into 10 raised to power 6 because that power is you have already found that is the 20 mva and you will put here and when you will divide this value then you are going to get the 262 mpa now so we have found the receiving now we will find the sending and voltage per phase as we have discussed the earlier the formula was what was formula please repeat this a v r a v r plus b i r so i will use same formula here that is a v r plus b i r we will put value of the a value of the v r that we have found 76.2 and the angle 0 degree then we will 140 to 140 uh, in angle 70 that is for the value of the b and then we will find here one second then we will find the 162.30 minus 36.8 after the calculation multiplication then it is actually in the polar form 
then you will then you have to convert into the rectangle so after the multiplication of both the values you are you have to convert in the into the uh, rectangle when you will convert into both into the rectangle then you can only add and after the addition i am i have given the direct number that is the 99.22 plus j222.47 so this is the real number this is the imaginary number and again you will convert in, in, into the polar form using the calci or uh, applying the basic uh, conversion rule okay uh, i hope you have studied about that so you will convert in the right this is the rectangle format then you will convert into the polar format and after the conversion from the polar format you are going to get in this so this is the value 101.7 12.6 degree and this is in the radian we have to find generally we generally find in the degree only now now maximum receiving and voltage what is going to be the maximum receiving and voltage so we have found the receiving and voltage then we will found the maximum receiving voltage and this maximum receiving and voltage is going to be find about this so vs into vr divided by power not the voltage vs into vr divided by b and minus a v r square divided by b cos beta minus alpha and actually it is the basic uh, you can say the formula for your long transmission line and if you have studied so just direct remember don't have to go for those also just remember that then you will come to know that is beta is equal to 78 degree so don't be confused from where the beta has come this is b that is a 140 angle 70 degree so this is a beta so we generally like beta now put the alpha is equal to 2 degree and that is from the a a is written as mod a angle alpha so after putting these all the values you are going to get put these values so we'll put vs and vr values and divided by b that is the uh, your 140 put in the mod value and here same mod value will be provided and then you will get 50 55.35 and then 13.99 and after the simplification of this you are going to get the 41.35 megawatt what you are going to get 41.35 megawatt that you will get now so if i talk about the total power of the three phase so we have found the per phase value then you have to find uh, you have to find for three phase value then you will what you will do you will multiply it by the uh, three so when you will multiply by three then you are going to get 124 megawatt then you are going to get 124 megawatt okay now now i will find the impedance so whenever i talk about the impedance it is going to be related with the b okay a b so that is the abcd parameter and that b will represent the impedance what is that b that b is 140 angle 70 degree then you are going to get then you will convert this okay then uh, when you will convert this this is in the rectangle format rectangle format so you will convert the rectangle format then it will be cos 70 plus j sin 70 so this is cos 70 and this is j sin 70 and after the getting the values of cos 70 you are uh, you are going to get 0 0.342 what you are go going to get 0 0.342 and this will be j 0 0.9396 and after the multiplication with the 140 you are going to get 47.85 plus j 131.55 so from where it has come it is j impedance that is impedance is actually related with the b and b is having mod b and angle beta okay now so if i talk about the dc resistance because ultimately we have to find the dc power so if we find the dc resistance of the line conductor line or the conductor that is line or the conductor, not the division. The DC resistance of the line or the conductor, then you are going to get this. So what you will write? This is a 47.8. This is 47.8, and this is divided by 1.25. Okay, and after the after the division of this, you are going to get the 38.305. Okay, guys. 
now i will move for the next one that is a so dc voltage between the lines so what will be the dc voltage between the lines or you can say the pole to pole voltage for the dc it is going to be two times because it is pole to pole okay not neutral to pole that is pole to pole so i will multiply two and if we are talking the pole then 132 root 2 and divided by root 3 actually 132 is actually your um, line to line voltage and uh, that is actually the rms voltage so you will uh, multiply root 2 for the peak value and then you will divide the root 3 so it will be converted into phase and when you will multiply by 2 it will be converted into pole to pole value as you are having this uh, 216 kilovolt now id and ip both are same then i can write the 262 mpf which we have found from these formulas this so i can write this and dc power delivered at the receiving end so what will be the dc power you have to just multiply the current so that is the id and the vd so you are going to get 56.70 megawatt what you are going to get 56.70 megawatt value you are going to get i hope up to this you have understood the basic uh, relation of the power and when we convert into the dc line so tata bye bye and thank you